And today we start another series of reports on the five major candidates, this time on the strategies of the campaigns and the different ways the candidates are engaging with voters. We begin with the current frontrunner in the polls, Moon Jae-in. Lee ji has the report. A president who unifies the people. That's the kind of leader the Democratic Party of Korea's candidate Moon Jae-in has pledged to be. The 64-year-old was a former leader of what is now known as the Democratic Party of Korea, and he was a close aide to the late liberal president Do Mu Hyun, and he's now running for the nation's highest office for the second time. His strong determination to unify has been evident on the campaign trail already, as he chose Daegu in Gyeongsangbuk-do province, a traditionally conservative stronghold, as his very first stop. It marks the first time for a liberal candidate to do so. I will certainly earn Daegu's support. We must end elections where one side wins and one side loses. We must make a victory where everyone wins. Moon had initially vowed to clean up what he called deep-rooted evil in society. But with increasing voices that it could cause a split between those who once supported former President Park Geun-hye and the others, Moon started to put more emphasis on unifying the people once the official campaign began. Another place Moon visited on the first day of the official campaign was Gwangwamun Plaza. Gwangwamun is the now iconic site of the candlelight rallies that led to the impeachment of Park Geun-hye. But it's also the heart of Seoul. With upbeat music and chants filling the air, people quickly gathered around the campaign site. It felt like a festival, like we were cheering at a football match. I had a lot of fun. Political campaigns are usually enjoyed only by senior citizens. But here, there's music and good vibes, things that young people can enjoy, too. I was just passing by, but the campaign looked really exciting, so I dropped by. It was like attending a fan club meeting. I've been to many campaign trails, and normally, the first day isn't nearly as exciting as this. Today's atmosphere is really good, as if it were the last day of the campaign. And Moon Jae-in was very happy, too. And while Moon and his supporters are buzzing around the country, there are plenty of others helping out behind the scenes. This is the Democratic Party of Korea's headquarters with a sizable poster of presidential candidate Moon Jae-in right out front. Right now, with the election in full swing, it's a hive of campaign activity. From policymaking to social media campaigns, Moon supporters and party lawmakers are based in four locations, all working to provide the people with better policies and to reach out to as many voters as they can. For the younger generations, we use social media to share videos and election-related news. To reach out to those in their 50s and 60s, we are organizing a group that will promote Moon's national security policies. But the camp wants to do more than just delivering their candidates' ideas. Moon hopes to become a president that connects with the public, and through the campaign, he hopes to listen to the people and speak for the people. And on the second day of the official campaign period, Moon headed to the liberal stronghold of Jeollado province in Korea's southwest, reiterating his desire to unify the nation. He was warmly welcomed in Jeonju and Gwangju. While in Gwangju, a city where many sacrificed their lives fighting for Korea's democracy, a moment of silence was observed before the event began. In his speech, Moon thanked the people for their support in the 2012 election and promised to win this time. The young people were very enthusiastic. I didn't think Moon would be this popular among people like myself, but seeing how it went today, I guess I was wrong. Emphasizing integration and equality between all regions, Moon once again stressed that he will work to bring the country together, conveying his hopes of becoming the first president to be supported by people from all across the country. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News, Gwangju.